Hey guys, so here's another update on the console project. So today I'm still with the Sun 7 board. Actually now I'm doing all my tests on this board. So what I have working here is the base of the USB stack. Right now I'm able to to recognize the device. So what I'm doing is I get the device descriptor, I check for the product ID and vendor ID, and I have a small list of two devices right now, so it's able to identify whether it's the Microsoft wireless receiver, this thing you see here, or the USB mouse. I have a normal Logitech USB mouse. And the other thing you see here is the TI wire, it's used to connect my TI calculator to my PC. And this is just a dummy device, just to show you that it's not able to recognize it, because in the firmware there's no mention of the product ID and uh, vendor ID for that USB device. So I'll show you what it does right away. I'll power up the Sun 7 board. And now it asks for a device. So I'll plug the USB mouse in. And as you can see here, you see that it detected the device as a Logitech mouse. So and that's what it is, so it's been identified correctly. So I'll, un I'll unplug the mouse and then I'll plug the Microsoft wireless receiver. And it should do the same thing. Yeah, you see, it's been identified correctly as well. And on the last device, oh yeah, here. This is kind of cool, like this yellow light is lit only when the configuration is detected, it, uh, the configuration is set. So that's that proof that I'm able to actually set the correct configuration here. You see configuration set and we have a feedback on the device. And the last thing is the TI adapter, calculator adapter. So if I plug it, we should see that it's not able to identify it. Yeah, you see, unknown USB device. But still, I mean, even if we don't know about that device, we know that there is at least one configuration, the first one. It's a mandatory configuration, so that's why we still set the address and select the first configuration. Alright, so for now all that is a little dumb, I mean, for now I'm not getting the configuration descriptors and the interface descriptors, so I'll do that in the near, near future, so I'll be able to do a wiser enumeration process, and after that I should work on the actual driver for the Xbox controller so we can use it use it on the console so yeah stay put for other updates